Hi guys and girls, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel, Life and Literature. Today I'm going to be reviewing If I Stay by Gail Foreman. If this is something you would be interested in, then please keep on watching. If I Stay, the book I actually have has the cover of the film. Um, so it might still have this, it might have a different cover. They might have gone back to the original because the film did come out a couple of, I think, years ago now. Um, so... This book is about a girl called Mia, um, and Mia's on the front here, um, a girl called Mia, and I will read the blurb. A cold February morning, a snowy road, and suddenly all of Mia's choices are gone, except one. If I stay, I am going to do a spoiler-free review, because I think this is a beautiful book. I think because it came out on a film... Um, I don't think a lot of people may have read the book. I think the book is beautiful. The film is also a lovely adaptation of it. So Mia is, she's a passionate, young, driven girl. Um, you follow her through the book and you learn about her, her past and everything that's led up to the moment which happens quite early on in the book. She is very she's very music orientated she started playing the cello i think when she was about five or six um in the book and it is a huge passion and love of hers and the music carefully flows through which is quite beautiful now she she has a mum and a dad her dad used to be a teacher who used to be in a band which is referenced a couple of times and that's kind of where her love of music kind of came from um and then you've got Mia, who's the main character, the daughter. Um, you've got Kim, who's the best friend. She's sarcastic and funny. And you watch her and her friendship um, blossom throughout. And also you have Teddy, who's the little brother, the young brother that um, she kind of nurtures. Uh, they they bicker, they argue, as most, um, most teenage girls and their younger brother would. Now... Then comes along her love interest. He's a guy called Adam um, and he plays in a band. He plays guitar in a band. Um, and I'm pretty sure he sings. I'm pretty sure he is the singer as well. Um, his love of music and her love and passion for music as well is kind of what drives them to be together. And you watch how their love grows and develops and how this kind of rock um rock popular guy um falls in love with this quiet timid cello player um and she's very much more classical and he is rock yet love through music is no matter what music it is a love and a passion and a drive for something and they both see that in each other and that kind of drives them and makes them fall fall more in love with each other as well as what they do um which i think is beautiful now if i stay is a very moving yet very upsetting book uh, there was a quite a few times where i got quite upset um just because because this book is is full of real sadness and tragedy and loss and yet so much joy and laughter and beauty and you you fall in love and cry and you laugh and then you tear up again it's it's a mash it's a mash of so many different emotions and I found the beauty in the subtlety of that and the way it's written is it starts with an event and throughout the book you are living in the present and you jump back to the past and you're being there in the moment and then you're remembering and I feel like that's much what life is as well as you're living in that moment all your little moments in life and what you're dealing with when someone's just coming in from the background they don't know why you're acting a certain way Whereas you know you're acting that way from a past event. You're able to think in your head that past event is how I got to this moment. And you're reflecting. And I feel like in this book, 
when it's such a pivotal emotional time for this character Mia she is going back into her memories and she's remembering them times that got her here them happy moments them sad maybe moments and why she is reacting the way she is and that's quite beautiful for a writer to do I think Gal Foreman has an amazing way throughout the book to blend the reality and harshness of a situation yet show the the love the care the nurture behind them moments which I haven't really come across in any other book I don't know if you have if if you have then please comment down below because I think I love that style of writing with the past and the present and the ideas of that character and being able to show the development from start to finish yet you're not starting right from the beginning you're not finishing right at the end yet you're getting such a wide scope of this character and Mia's young innovative way of thinking about so many different things and her passion for the music she does and almost the old head on young shoulders is very much evident in this character yet she shows such simplicity and passion for the music she does and almost the old head on young shoulders is very much evident in this character yet she shows such simplicity and and you watch her grow into almost a young woman in some elements of her relationship with Adam and some of the things that she has to deal with it's a it's very hard for I think for anyone um to go through lo loss and trauma and upset and to think that she in a moment throughout the book kind of feels alone and you're watching how she looks back on her her past looks back on her friends her family and remembers that she's not alone however alone she may feel she's going back into her treasure trove i'd say of thoughts and she's remembering what life she's led and the people that have got her to that point and i think that's really important for a young person that when they're going through something sometimes it's a really important time to take a step back look on where you've come and who got you there and who helped you and who was looking out for you because it really grounds yourself and i think throughout the book she never she never truly feels grounded she kind of feels a bit up in the air and to see that in a character and you never almost feel fulfilled um through the majority of the book of how she's truly feeling other than upset and angst but then moments going back to the people and the places that she loves and the things that she loves really calm her and center her and i think a lot of people need to find that within themselves sometimes so this is a very beautiful stunning exceptional book which is such a beautiful read and there's so many amazing things there's so many amazing comments i have seen about this book about people that have read it because everyone can lose things very close to them and whether that be people or things or ideas um or conceptions of what your life will be or has to be and to lose any of them things dealing with your own emo emotional turmoil but also dealing with the reality of that is a massive tearjerker so i think the writing is beautiful it can be quite simplistic it's still a very gripping and emotional read but yet it's still at the same time comfortable and settling and just beautiful it is a beautifully stunning book and i think the the film for me was perfect in this um i think they've done it really well and there is actually in this copy the movie edition there is actually at the back um an interview with the characters because um chloe grace mortez i think that's her name 
she played she played Mia in the book and I thought her portrayal was beautiful and her dedication to showing the love that Mia has for the cello and music in general and her family um, was a brilliant portrayal so I think if you are more of a movie person and maybe you're one of them people that does watch the movie before the book then there is no doubt in my mind you will want to watch the film and read the book straight after so I really think it is an important read and it's definitely an important book to have on your bookshelf so without any true spoilers that was really hard and if you start reading it you'll know why um, but I feel like it's such a gripping emotional love of life story and I think that's the pivotal part of it is having that love of life and you live for love so I think everyone everyone has to read it I think everyone should at least give it a try um, so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed the review of that if you have any comments or as I always say any recommendations please comment down below and also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and like it and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be releasing more videos and more more and different reviews of books I've done quite a few mainly of romance at the moment I feel like with colder weather I gravitate more towards romance um, but there are some variations of all the different genres I do love so Please, if you enjoyed it, as I said, subscribe and I will see you soon with another video. Bye.